All right, so this is a very short video on components, on how to add components to a GUI and uh, in Anvil. So over here on the left, you'll see that we have our application. And if I run the application, uh, you'll see we have a, some sort of navigation over here to the left. And we have uh, asset class. And then we have a brokerage. If you click on brokerage, it says uh, argument to add component must be a component. And right now it's actually there's nothing there. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up. So we're going to create components here. What I found uh, helps the best for this uh, for this part is to add a, uh, a container, if you will. And there's several containers. So this container here is a uh, column panel. This container is a flow panel. This is the repeating panel. So those are three types of containers that can go here. But I really like this one. There's this one here is a grid, and this one here is like a, a, a horizontal grid, but that will only allow you to put one thing per um, item. And then of course you have a card, which is like a, it's a, it's a lot like this one, but it, it adds uh, a couple other features that will do. So let's just start with this grid. I like the grid one probably the best to start with a basic form. So we're going to throw the grid up. Okay. And we're going to, first thing we're going to do is just rename it. And, you know, I'm going to do something like uh, grid panel underscore brokerage. Okay. So that's the name of this. Okay. Now, inside that we're going to put some stuff okay we're going to probably we're going to let's look at the data what it what goes on to the brokerage is essentially just the brokerage id and the brokerage name okay and a broker would be something like um valak vanguard fidelity schwab stuff like that right so we're going to just say we're going to add an add so i'm going to throw this little button here on okay and we're going to say um add brokerage okay underscore add underscore button okay and you'll want to come up with a naming standard so you'll remember what things are called throughout the whole thing so and then once i've named it okay i can come over here and i can do a couple things i can say um, the text on the button will be add broker or brokerage and then i could also say make it a make it a primary and then I could drag this out a little bit. Uh, and you'll notice when I drag it, it kind of creates this grid. Okay. So, and then if I wanted to fill up the whole thing, I can actually change it to full. And it would actually fill all the way up. Um, make, it look, look, make it look a little bit nicer. So then I want to also add a uh, label. So we're just going to drag a label, put a label over here on this side. And in the label, we're going to say uh, brokerage name something like that and i can drag this make it a little bit smaller and then once once I, if i make it one smaller see how if i make it one smaller it um it it puts it on two lines and i don't want that okay and then finally i'm going to add a text box so and i and you'll notice i didn't actually um i didn't actually rename this label so if you if you click on that Notice it just says label one. I'm not going to change the label for this because I don't really need to. So I don't need to call it or do anything with it. But this text box, I do. Okay. So I'm going to put this text box. Notice how if I put it if I put it too close, the brokerage name jumps over here. So then if I put this, I have to put it back. And then I just know that this is about as close as it can get without it throwing it to the other side. So for this, I'm just going to call it uh, brokerage name underscore text box something like that okay and then so i have that i have that i have add brokerage so that is essentially how you'll start up those components okay so what we'll do next is we'll see um what we want to do to see to, to get this to run so if i go back to my home form and i click on the design view and I click on brokerage it takes me out here to this button click event and you'll notice up here on this asset button click I ju you just have to put the form asset class inside the add component so I'm just going to come over here and say uh, form brokerage okay 
something like that and it's going to throw an error because i haven't come up here and actually added it to my uh, so if i hit from and hit tab then i'll come down and pick um, from you know form brokerage import class and now it should run so if i click on that and i click on brokerages my ad brokerage should show up here okay and then um, i can also put a repeating panel down here which calls everything from the data table or database depending on how i want to do it so like in the asset class example it's actually pulling from the mysql and this is the ad portion and down here is the repeating panel which is grabbing it from uh, the actual data the database that we're looking at so for this video all you have to know is in this form sorry on the home on the home form um, what we're doing is this brokerage button on this button click okay um, it is going to take what is in this content panel here and it's going to replace it with this entire form or this entire form okay so it just replaces them out so that's essentially how the navigation is going to work it's just going to say take whatever's here replace it out replace it out